Well, well, welcome back to the channel, guys. As you can see, we are not in uh, sunny Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, but up at Falls Creek. And uh, this is our lockdown at the moment. So as I pan around, you can actually see what we're dealing with here. And because we're in lockdown, none of the lifts are running. And that means we've got a hike. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna be going up that hill there. I think you can see there's a girl up the top there. She's hiking. You can see uh, lovely Lara just over there. <laughs> yeah, so this is, what, this is what it's all about. So hope you guys are enjoying your summer in the States and elsewhere in the world. But, uh, this is what we're dealing with here in sunny winter Australia. As you can see here, we are looking at this little interesting snowcat here. And you might say, what is this got to do with VWs? Well, we're going to find out in just a minute. Because it actually has a VW motor in it. And this has been built back in 1980, around that. And it gets around up here in the Falls Creek Village. And... As you can see on the side, random repairs, and Risty is the owner, and that's him over there. <laughs> and you can actually look look in the back of it here and see all the tools. And this gets uh, used up around here in the snow fields, which is pretty cool. So it's got a um, a V dub motor, which we're going to have a look at later on. But as you can see, it's made here in Melbourne and it's got some really really cool little bits and pieces on it and we can check it out how's that all right so you can see there this wristy's just got it started up he's taking it for a little bit of a spin <laughs> it's got the reversing alarm and you can see there that's where the exhaust is just off the side there pretty cool so i suppose what we can do here is just have a look inside it oh yeah just okay. just just as a as a first um and you can see there the controls so you've got skid steer like a like a um a tank and what are those at the bottom there? Brakes? So, um, yeah, that's, that's your brakes, and then accelerator and clutch, four on the floor. Ah, oh, so there's a gear stick there, right. Okay. And then, of course, your control panel, you've got... Well, engine. the pressure on the, on the left is the red light, the yellow light's your generator. Yep. Um, ignition on and off and start button. Yep. And then the green light's your, um, with the switch next to it's your indicators. Red button's the horn. Because you need indicators up here in the snow, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, then the other lights, yeah, um, headlights um, with your um, fog light and your standard and the dip switch on the on the pedal for the um, for the high beams. Oh yes, down there I can see that. Yeah. So it's fairly simple. So what's the what's the um, the tubing? The ah, uh, that's the demista. Ah, demista the for the windscreen. Ah, okay. So that that's what you've got here, and you've got little slots in it. Yeah. And that's throwing up your, your anti-fog. And then you've got your windscreen wiper up the top there. So it's pretty simplistic design. And then of course we've got Reeve's little uh, seat over there. And the earmuffs, because it is actually quite loud in here um, when you're driving it around the village, but still, still pretty, pretty comfortable. And then of course all the tools in the back. So where is the engine? This is the next question. <laughs> Because all, all those uh, V-Dub fans out there are going to be wondering, what the hell has this got to do with it? This is definitely no split-screen bus or any kind of Beetle. Ah, oh, okay, so the whole thing... Hang on, I might have to give you a hand here. There we go. All right. So all right, on the downhill on the uphill. Let's <laughs> all right, locks in. Okay, so... I'll just grab a pin to put through there. Oh, it's a safety. Right, so there you go. There's the motor. And there's the gearbox. Interesting setup. 
twin carby and there's the generator there what an interesting setup so you can see back there guys you've got your your CV joints going to the chains on either side that's our little safety pin I like that one so there you go and as you can see the, so it's actually it looks like it's a um, a type 3 motor just by the flat or it might even be a um, I wonder if it's off a bay window interesting because it, it has got that flat it hasn't got the uh, the shroud like what you'd see in a, in a um, in an old combi so yeah like the tinware it's not jumping out of me so maybe someone in the comments there can uh, can tell me what this is out of but I think it, it's either a late bay window or it could be a type 3 but obviously the gearbox is just an IRS IRS gearbox there and then you've got a oh, you can see how they've done the discs for the brakes <laughs> oh, that's so clever there's some really nice engineering in this thing so no um no air cleaners on it uh, it doesn't fit <laughs> <laughs> they don't fit <laughs> You can see just by your uh, your, your yeah. soot, your soot inside it. Yeah. I wonder, it's not too, doesn't tend to be too bad, but I wonder if you could put like a little snorkel out to the side or something. Like I suppose then you wouldn't be able so to. You open don't want it. to go to the side because it builds up quite a bit with snow against there. Ah, of course. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You get once quite you're a driving bit of snow it. around the exhaust, but being that yeah. it's mainly on mainly used on the snow rather than on roads you don't tend to get a lot of dirt no that's right i mean you can have a look around here guys you've got you know there, there is no dirt here it, it is just you know and it's got that nice fresh alpine um uh air to, to breathe in so uh oh yeah so we've got two two coil is it two coils one coil oh that's just like a different different setup there but wow what and, and there's the horn up the back you can see the brake lines there's the steering oh no that's the shifter for the um you can actually see there there's the there's the v-dub coupler there for the shift rod and that's going straight to the to the back of the gearbox there so that's pretty cool and then there's the heater pipes so that's all that's all v-dub yep they've just modified the heater pipes there to throw the hot air up into the cabin what an amazing piece of engineering i'll tell you this is this is fantastic so then they've just gone chains chains to the front sprocket there the drive sprockets and then obviously that drives the tracks and then these would just be off a trailer wouldn't they no uh, they're track bars yeah they're, well the track bars you actually are they're, they're an interesting sort of design so okay. so that's that's yeah, right. the track bars yep and um they would wear out obviously they, over they over do wear them. out and what tends to happen when this when this low snow on the roads these center parts actually copy to hiding and they snap out right as well and then you've got to just basically re-weld them and, yeah and, uh, and this is your this is your sacrificial uh do you just build on oh, no, a i can see there you don't build them up with weld you just take that no. bit off and and no, replace the road, them the road does that yeah we just make new ones just make yeah swap them out swap them out so underneath let's have a bit of a look underneath just interesting to see what's under here oh yeah so she's just a just a box box chassis you can see the exhaust pipe over there on the side and another one just up there little canister very cool i tell you that this is something that uh you don't see a lot of and especially that it's a, a custom made um you know unit for for up here you don't see a lot of them around but I love the way that tilt front just uh, exposes the motor like that. Really, really easy to work on it too. There you go. That's amazing. And I suppose you can get to your um, you can get to your valves to do your. your have you done a valve adjustment on it? <laughs> uh, I haven't. I don't know what I yeah, you probably every three thousand miles you're supposed to do a a valve adjustment on them just so you don't burn out burn the valves out. But um, Oh yeah, and you got your little fuel filter down the back there. That's G'day, pretty cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Great job. So um, yeah, anyone in the comments knows anything about this setup? But yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it probably is off a a late bay window. It might be a 1.8 liter. Um, oh no, there's a there's a coat. There's the uh, serial number on the block there. So what do we got? If I can read that, U U zero don't know hopefully someone knows a bit more 
but yeah what a great setup it's there's definitely some um some great little ingenuity in that cool awesome well there you go guys that's just a a quick uh view of this i suppose you call it a snow cat don't you yeah yeah. Track. yeah that's it and they were made back in the 1980s um, by a company in melbourne australia how many do you reckon are around there's still three in falls creek three in falls creek we might even do a story we might hunt down the other ones as you can see here we've just got you know the standard snowmobiles around that that's my one over there um but yeah so there's three up here maybe this is the second one ever built the first one ever built is also in falls creek at haley's ski hire ah so, okay so that's that's shanky's one we might go and pay that a visit and go and check that one out too yeah made by the same company yeah yeah so his one hasn't got the uh his is just a tray isn't it? it's like a you does have a canopy for the front of his but not for the back not for the back okay right so it's like a ute version then yeah yeah cool cool yeah no that's fantastic awesome all right well thanks for showing us your your um snow weapon here i love it it's very cool and um yeah we might go and hunt down the other one at a later stage but I'll just check this thing out and show you guys on the channel something other than a bus or a bug and it's got a V-Dub motor in it which I found out and um, very cool. Alright guys well we will catch you in the next video. Cheers for me.